friends welcome back to edupedia world last lecture we discussed about the atomic structure today we will discuss about a phenomena known as the radioactivity we will see the history of radioactivity how exactly radioactivity was discovered we will see what are radioactive substances examples of those what is the definition of radioactivity and uh, then we will look into the different radiations that are emitted by a radioactive substance so let's start with the history in 1896 henry becquerel observed that uh, when he kept a photographic plate along with uh, some uranium sample after a few days the photographic plate was exposed even though the uranium sample was not in direct contact with the photographic plate so what he understood from this is that obviously the uranium sample is emitting some radiations which led to the exposure of the photographic plate and uh, this ra radiations which are emitted by the uranium sample were thereby named becquerel rays on further investigation it was found that in fact there are three independent different kind of radiations which are emitted and uh, one is positively charged which is known as the alpha particle second is negatively charged which is known as the beta radiation and finally a neutral radiation which was the gamma radiation so let me write some of it down b c becquerel radiation and it was first observed as i said uh, by a experimental mistake alpha particle this is positively charged beta particle this is negatively charged and gamma radiation these are uncharged okay now the substances which decay by spontaneous emission of radiations are known as radioactive substances so radio active substance they decay spontaneously emitting radiations some of the examples of radioactive substance the first as we already discussed is uranium then we have thorium polonium radium uh, and there are many more which and a point to note is that this uh, radioactive substances are mainly the elements which have high atomic number okay and uh, the high atomic number normally greater than 82 are naturally existing radioactive material now an important aspect about radioactive reactions or radioactive substances are that any physical change or any chemical change imparted to the material does not lead to change in the rate of radioactivity okay so what does this imply this implies that the radioactivity phenomena of radioactivity is not due to the outer electrons rather it is a nuclear phenomena it is due to the nucleus the nucleus is unaffected by physical or chemical changes what is normally affected by physical and chemical changes are the outer electrons therefore the fact that the physical and chemical changes do not affect the decay rate means that the radioactivity is a nuclear phenomena 
okay and uh, another aspect of radioactivity is suppose you have uh, several atoms of a radioactive material many atoms of a radioactive material you pick one of the atoms at random you cannot say when is that particular atom going to decay the decay of uh, radioactive material is at random but the overall material follows a law the overall material will have a particular number of decays per second but pointing out to an individual atom and saying that this is going to decay in 5 minutes that is not possible okay with this background let us see the three different kinds of radioactive red uh, decay radiations okay so we have alpha beta and gamma now rutherford experiment uh, did a experiment in uh, 1903 in which he studied the behavior of these three radiations becquerel did not know about the three independent radiations rutherford was the one who found out in details about them three now as you know that any charged particle will be influenced by a magnet electric field or a magnetic field if the charged particle is moving so what he did was he undertook two experiments in one experiment he kept the radioactive material here inside a lead box in order to protect from uh, harms caused by radiation use the lead box with a small opening here and there was a magnetic field pointing into the plane of the paper okay now as a result of this what he observed is some radiations were going and as soon as it encounters the magnetic field it is moving to the left some radiations were moving straight and some radiation were moving to the right okay and uh, an important aspect was that this radiation if you see by the fleming's rule then this radiation which goes towards the left has to be positively charged and this was named as the alpha radiation the radiation which moves towards right had to be negatively charged and this was named as beta radiation and those which went straight should be uncharged and they were called as gamma radiation what rutherford observed was the alpha radiation though it deviated it deviated less compared to the beta radiation and obviously the gamma radiation uh, since it did, did not deviate the inference was it is uncharged a similar experiment was again carried out using uh, electric field now rather than the magnetic field the setup would be similar a lead box in order to protect uh, from the harms of the radiation the only difference now is that we have a potential difference applied so as to create a electric field this is negative this is positive then what happened similar to the first case since this is negative the positive alpha particles was observed to move towards it the negative beta particles were observed to move towards the positive terminal and the neutral gamma radiations was observed to move away straight okay and again the degree of deviation was maximum for the beta radiations and uh, minimum for the alpha radiation uh, intermediate for the alpha radiation and gamma radiation obviously did not have any deviation 
This again proved that the alpha radiations which deviate less are uh, positively charged whereas beta radiations which deviate more are negatively charged. Now if you think about it, what is the reason for alpha and beta radiations to be deviating through different angles? There can be two reasons. One is that the beta the charge can be a reason, the amount of charge in the material and second can be the amount of mass of the material that is of the beta radiation and the gamma radiation uh, of the beta radiation and the alpha radiation. So the ratio of the charge to mass would actually determine how much will the radiation deviate. Now when we'll discuss the properties about the three uh, different radiation, we'll find out that though the alpha radiation has twice the charge that of beta radiation, alpha radiation is plus 2 and beta radiation is minus 1. We'll see that in the next lecture. But the fact that alpha radiation is much more heavier than beta radiation, the beta radiation deviates more than the alpha radiation. Okay? So this gives you an introductory idea about the radioactivity, how it was discovered, what is a radioactive substance, and what are the products of uh, radioactive decay. Next class, we will discuss in details the properties of the three radiation, the alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. So, till next class, have a great day. Goodbye.